Hi, welcome back. I'm Ashley. I'm a blogger at The Frugal Ginger. I love sharing tips to help you run your family and your finances more effectively and efficiently. So today I wanted to share how I was able to make this adorable little Valentine's Day shirt for little girls using my new Cricut. And if you saw my last video, you'll know that Cricut sent me all the supplies and everything I needed to make all the projects I'm going to be showing you on this channel. So I just want to be honest about that. I didn't pay for any of this, but they didn't pay me to make this video either. So I wanted to show you how to make this. This is only my second project, but I think it turned out really cute. It has a front, um, a little unicorn with hearts on it. And then on the back, it has some hearts that say happy Valentine's Day. Now, obviously this would look best on a white shirt, but my store didn't have any white long sleeve in the size that I needed, of course. So I picked gray instead, and I still think it turned out cute. And my daughter loves it. She can't wait to wear it um, to school on Valentine's Day. She's really excited. So I want to show you how I did this. And like I said, this is my second project. So I'm still learning how to do the Cricut and the Easy Press, um, all that good stuff. So if I don't do something exactly the right way, I'm sorry. But it worked, as you can see, whatever I did worked. And it's still on after a week. So I want to show you exactly what I did so you can make this shirt on your own and let's get started. I do want to mention I'm going to be leaving links below in the description, um, one directly to this template so you can just open it up in the design space and get started. And I'll also be leaving links to everything else that I use as well in case you're curious on exactly what kind of items you're going to need so as far as what we're going to need i chose three different types of vinyl i have black a coral color that i already had and a tea party sampler vinyl and of course you're going to need a t-shirt so just go into design space and click on the template that's located in the description to take you right to it you can see the front and the back images that's going to make and when you're ready to go just click make it Design space is going to open up and show you all of the different designs and the different colors that you're going to need. Like I said, you're gonna need five different types of vinyl. So when it's opened up, just click the green button at the bottom right. And it's gonna take you to the canvas. So here you can move the images around, you can change them up in any way that you want, make them bigger or smaller. And then on the right hand side, is a panel with all the different layers. This is where you can see everything that you're gonna need, the colors that they're gonna be. Just click on them and to highlight it and you can change any of the colors that you may need. You can um, just click the little eye at the right and it can go away if you don't want that layer. You can also go over here to the top, click on the color if you wanna change it into a different color just to make it easier for you to see exactly how it's going to look. And you can do that with all the different layers. Once it's looking how you want it to look, just go over to the left and click templates. And then we're going to pick the t-shirts and just go to the top, change it to a youth or kids t-shirt. And then right beside that, you can choose if it's a small, medium, or large. And it's already on small for us, which is what I have. So here you can click on the image and move it around, make it bigger or smaller to see how it's going to look exactly on the shirt that you chose. Once everything looks good, click the green button and it's gonna take you here again. And you want to make sure that you go through each of the cuts it shows you exactly the colors that you're going to need so you know what to put on your mat. And since this is an iron-on, you want to make sure that all of the images are mirrored. So when you put it on your shirt, it's going to say exactly what you want it to say and not be backwards. So we're just gonna go through all of these and make sure they're all mirrored because that's very important for iron-on. Once 
right once all that looks good and you're ready to go just click the green button it's going to pull up and tell you exactly what to do with your Cricut I'm using the Explore Air 2 now here I have it all laid out on the mat the shiny side is on facing down on the mat and I just want to show you real quick shiny side goes down and then you just line it up all on the mat we're going to load it in between the little spaces right here click load and then you click go All right, now this done, we just unloaded it and I'm going to pull back the vinyl from the mat so we can get our image off. Be very careful pulling it back because sometimes it does like to stick to the mat. I have it off, I'm just going to cut off all of the excess with my precision cutter just so I can save all the extra vinyl for later. To ready to go to the next color, you'll see that it's already in the design space ready to go put the black on your mat load it up just like we did before hit go when the button flashes green and it's going to start cutting basically going to be doing this with every single color i just wanted to show you the first two just to show you how it's done but from this point we're going to do all the colors exactly the same way now that everything is cut, we have all our images. I'm going to start pulling back all the vinyl off of the cut images so that we can see them all and get our weeding tool, weed any areas of the dead space that we need to get, especially out of the letters. I think that's really the only area that you're gonna to have to weed on this particular project. Once all that's done, we're going to get the Easy Press ready. So the best way to do this is to go to Cricut website and they have a heat guide. And this will tell us exactly what to set our settings to. So we're going to be using the Everyday Iron-On. And we're using a 100% cotton t-shirt. I'm also using the Easy Press mat. So just hit apply and it's going to tell us to set it to 350 degrees for 30 seconds and it's going to need a warm peel so we're going to have to let it cool for a few seconds so just turn on the easy press to set the temperature to 315 and it's already at 30 seconds so all we have to do then is just let it heat once the easy press 2 is heated you're just going to set it on your t-shirt for about five seconds just to get it nice and warm so the vinyl will stick easier when you're lining it all up. And I'm just gonna take the first layer, put it in the center of the t-shirt as best that I can. Just push it down, make sure it's good. You can always use a scraper just to make sure it's on there real good and there's no air bubbles. And then we're gonna get the Easy Press 2. Put it on and hit the green button to start the countdown. And then I'm going to take it and take the Easy Press mat out from in between, flip it over, and heat the back for 15 seconds just to make the vinyl sure the vinyl is on really good. Once it's cooled down for just a few seconds, remember you do want a warm peel. You want it to still be a little bit warm. We're going, just going to take the plastic off and it's good to go. Now we're going to take the next layer and just line it up as best you can. Make sure it's on there really good. And then we're just going to take the easy press and heat this layer just like we did before. 
Basically, you're going to be doing the exact same thing for every single layer. And we're going to do all of the everyday iron on at once, and then we'll flip the t-shirt over and do the everyday iron on on the back before we start doing the glitter iron on, since that is going to be at a different temperature. So now we're going to be doing the back of the shirt. Like I said, all the everyday iron on is going to go on first. So we're going to do the sayings, and then I'm going to add the white bunch of hearts. And then I'm going to put the red hearts on top of the white. And once all the everyday iron on is done, go back into your heat guide and change the settings to glitter. And then your t-shirt is still going to be 100% cotton. Click that we're using an easy press mat. And it's telling us it's going to be at 330 degrees at 30 seconds. So now all we have to do is go back to the easy press and change the settings to 330. And then we're just going to put the glitter iron on the exact same way we did the everyday iron on. And once you have the glitter ones on, you're all done. I didn't think you really needed to see that. It's the exact same thing. But this is the final project. I think it's cute. So that's it. That's how I made the little Valentine's Day long sleeve t-shirt for girls. Uh, like I said, if you want to use different colors or you want to change some things around on the layout, perfectly fine. Do what works for you, what you think is going to look good. Uh, these are the colors that my daughter chose. She loves anything glitter and pink and unicorn. So this was perfect for us. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe below and I'll see you next time.